This is a typical day and Amtrak has many layers we employ to keep our passengers and our infrastructure safe. And one of the key portions of that is the canine program. There are many layers to canine. One of the external, newer layers of the Vapor Wake program. And the Vapor Wake program is our answer to the suicide bomber. Well, most of the conventional dogs that we call conventional dogs, we can bring them to an area and search a building, search an aircraft, search a train, search vehicles, search a warehouse. Vapor Wake is a little different in that we're searching crowds of people. As you know, when people are moving, they move the air and they create a vapor and the dog follows that vapor that the person has left to its strongest point and alerts its handler to what it's found. What Auburn has brought to the equation, which I think we're all on the same page, is the mission is to stop the terrorists and to keep the traveling public safe at all times. The idea is to be visible, but I know you find this hard to believe, but we can have a dog work in a crowd and most people don't even notice the dog. The dogs are really low key, and most people that are using our infrastructure are more concerned with getting from point A to point B, so they're not even noticing what's going on around them, and the dog is a real non-invasive way of protecting them.